you so much for joining tonight. Uh, it's lovely to have you live. I know that people watch afterwards as well. So, um, Just a bit of admin for you before I get into stories and what stories mean to me and how stories are uh, integrated into the paintings. So the first thing is that this is part of a uh, virtual exhibition live uh, all week. I go live um, six o'clock every evening, British summertime. Uh, throughout the week we've got different things lined up for you. There's 20% of all paintings um, for this week only and you need to, to browse and view the paintings you need, go, need to go to the website which is lisamcdonaldart.com and then uh, there's free shipping wherever you are in the world there's free shipping for the paintings like this one and 10% uh, of the purchase price from the big ones is being donated to a charity called Sea Sanctuary uh, and Sea Sanctuary are a charity down in Cornwall that support people with mental health issues by taking them out on a sea with uh, on sea experiences and they also offer, offer therapy as well uh, so that's the charity I'm supporting and um, as you're watching feel free to share the video if you're enjoying what you're seeing or listening to and you can also share when you are seeing the repeat or the replay later on tonight uh, feel free to ask any questions you can comment in the box um, with your questions and um, yeah just hopefully you'll just get more of an insight into me what how I became an artist uh, what it's like being an artist and um, how stories are woven into my paintings. So, okay, let's begin. So how, how did I become an artist? Um, I didn't, uh, I actually had dreams of becoming a farmer's wife when I was little, <laughs> uh, but I've always been creative. Grandma gave me creative genes. Um, so I always writing, making things when I was growing up, when I was little. My degree is in English, uh, so maybe that's where the writing side of things comes into uh, play in that after the paint, as I explained last night, but you may not have heard after I create a painting, I then get inspired to write something as well. So I like to paint with words um, as much as I like to paint with paint. Um, so that's why stories are so important. Um, I did my degree in English and then went sidetracked got into a corporate job, uh, wasn't for me. So then um, back end of my 20s, long story short, I went traveling and ended up in Scotland in the far north, which is where we are. Um, so basically corporate life wasn't for me. Uh, all the time I was working in these, co I was actually an IT project manager. So once, um, just realized wasn't for me was creating all the time that I wasn't at work I was at home creating so this may even give may even give you some inspiration as well it's like all these things that you're passionate about it's lovely to then be able to then create a job around them um, which is what I've been blessed enough to be able to do um, so yeah just massively creative Ended up in Scotland, actually lived in a castle for a bit in Scotland um, and just then moved into this house, this house on the cliffs eight years ago. Um, so that's a little bit of my story. What I want to share with you actually is one of the, why I paint the sea um, and it may sum it up with you if I share the words to this painting. So this painting is called Together We Saw. Um, and why the sea is so important to me, maybe to some of you as well, is just because it brings so much peace and serenity, uh, sometimes invigoration um, and just replenishment, all that, like all those just amazing feelings that we can get when we're by the ocean. Um, and I'll just never get sick of tired, uh, sick or tired of painting the waves. They just, they just mean so much. There's just all that energy that you can get and try and get onto the canvas. So as I will show you on Thursday, um, I'm going to give you some demonstrations and maybe a little bit of, I might tidy up a bit and you'd be, see, be able to see some of the studio. Um, 
and just how I'm just forever trying to get that energy through me onto the canvas. So this may explain a little about um, some of the healing that the seas brought to me. So it's called Together We Saw. So I'm just going to try and get out of the way a little for you to have a look. Together We Saw. She saw me crouching and broken, too tired to unyoke my burden. My hands hurt from clenching the pain within my weary soul. I had done all I could and there was no more for me to give. Where do I go from here? I asked her, with tears streaming into her as she gently held me and caressed me with her gentle breath. Stay a while, she whispered. Give me your pain. So I gave her it all, each and every heartache and piece of gut-wrenching sorrow. She soothed me with her presence and dried my tears. She held me until I was spent. She lifted my gaze to her beauty and calmed me with her song. I felt my pain dissipate into her salty essence. She whispered so softly, so gently in my ear, You are home, my child. You are here. You are no longer alone. Together we will rise. Together we will soar. And that is what we do, the ocean and I, every single day. Together we soar. And maybe it just like encapsulates just, yeah, just how much the ocean means um, not only to me but to others um, and how much it can bring to us so hopefully that message will give you some inspiration as well and now I'm just gonna <laughs> literally take my headphones out and swap paintings just bear with me uh, no assistant today second one I want to talk about can you see that one okay yeah okay I love actually how the the lights actually streaming in through the studio the windows over there and it's about it's actually giving it such a lovely glow um, so this one is called a Shera. And if you know, you may not know, I didn't know. Shera is actually Hebrew. It's a Hebrew goddess and she's the goddess of the sea. Um, and she is the goddess of water. Uh, and her other name is Asherah. And I think it means she who walks on water. Um, and it was just, I think even the name may have come even before the painting. I was just so drawn to that particular goddess image and how this you know how you can have oh well, I can follow the shape <laughs> how that energy resides in the water and we can just tap into that energy um so all the colors that I wanted to bring out is these rich dark with then the gold on the cusp as it's turning and uh, just try and encapsulate that whole movement on beauty. You know, sometimes I'll look at the sea and just be so inspired and uh, obviously so inspired and it just touches my heart. And it's that that I'm trying to just bring to the canvas of that absolute beauty. And it's natural, right? No makeup, no whatever. We can just look at light dancing on the sea and it can make us smile. That's how amazing that a sea is. So, Asherah's words that I was inspired to write, uh, so she's called Ashera, Lady of the Sea. Suspended between earth and sky, she belongs to the water. She dances with the waves and sings with the ocean. Her heart is full of joy and her spirit is one of freedom. She will lead you to the wonderful richness of a sovereign life. Follow her to the waves and let her lead you in a dance on the water. Uh, yeah, so that's just me trying to put into words afterwards uh, the meaning of all these paintings. Uh, so that's the two that I had lined up. Uh, maybe I've got in, within reach, there's another one. Let me just bring over another. I don't want to keep you too long. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for your comments. I can see them when I stand up. I can't see them when I'm sat down. Hold on. One more. You 
see that one yet. Okay. So this one is called uh, The Thundering Waves. Ooh. Um, and oh gosh, just what I was trying to explain last night as well, before the sound went, was that how every wave is different, right? And every time you go to the sea, uh, the light's different, the movement's different. And with this one is that immense, uh, you know that feeling when you go to the sea and there's just spray getting everywhere. It's like in your hair, in your face, up your nostrils. Uh, and it just makes you feel so alive and it's just trying to, oh, that's the energy that I, I wanted to capture with this one. Uh, and she's called the Thundering Waves and this one I didn't know the name, uh, I didn't know the name till the end. Uh, but what I do when I'm painting is I listen to inspiring music, sometimes it's just meditation music, sometimes it's classical music. This one I was listening to, uh, she's a, I think Canadian Irish musician called Lorena McKennett. I don't know if anyone knows her, but I I just uh, would recommend finding her music, Lorena McKennett. Uh, and absolutely amazing, powerful songs that she writes. So as I was painting this one, her music actually came on, and then this particular track, it's called The Old Ways came on and again I recommend that you go and uh, find this track it's called The Old Ways by Lorena McKennett find it afterwards and this the whole power that she's got running through this song and she also mentions I'll just give you the, some of the lyrics and you'll see why it's called The Thundering Waves Are Calling Me Home To You The Pounding Sea Is Calling Me Home To You and then she talks about over on the west coast of Ireland and I heard your voice singing and your eyes danced the song, your hands played the tune. It was a vision before me. And it's all, I think it's all about, I think it's all about her connection to the sea as well. So uh, it seems like a kindred spirit uh, and a just amazing tune to accompany my, uh, this painting. So again, if you tuned in last night, you may have got some of Emily's uh, fiddle playing I just love how music can accompany art and uh, highlight it and I think they go really well together. I said to Emily last night, if I wasn't an artist, if I wasn't painting, I'm sure I'd be a musician. Like, I just love music. If anyone wants to play while I'm painting, by all means come in and <laughs> bring whatever you can play. Um, right, well I think guys that's it. I don't want to keep you too long, so has anyone got any questions? And um, if not, uh, make sure you come back um, on Thursday. I'm back here. Tomorrow, I believe, is Tuesday, right? We are taking you out to the local castle. Uh, we're just around the corner. There's a castle, beautiful cliffs, Nos Head, Sinclair Gern. If you want to find it on the map, it's called Sinclair Gernigo and uh, we're taking some highland dancers out i'm so excited to dance on the cliffs in front of the castle making sure they're safely away from the cliffs um and just praying and hoping that we get a night like tonight because actually it's beautiful so it'd be lovely to take the girls out so join me tomorrow six o'clock for that um and then the rest of the week we'll just follow so thank you so much for tuning in it's so lovely to have you here watching and um i really appreciate your support so remember all of the paintings that you're seeing throughout the week are available to purchase and browse at lisa mcdonald art.com and there's 20 percent off all week um, and if you've enjoyed tonight uh, if you can give this video a little share it would be amazing um and that's it so thank you guys and I will see, oh, I might, oh I can just, I can just see, are my paintings for sale? Hopefully I've just answered, <laughs> see when I stand up I can see your questions. Yes they are, they're on the Lisa McDonald dot, Lisa art.com website and they, you'll see that they've got the sale price next to them as well, so thank you. Okay, <laughs> uh, I will see you tomorrow, have a lovely day, have a lovely evening and uh, take care.